Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Assassin's Creed Odyssey Let's Play. That's a little loud in the background because if you played Assassin's Creed Black Flag uh, ever since then, they had the sailors sing chanties and they did the same thing here uh, with Greek songs. Um, we're going to get our sea legs today as we start our naval missions. Uh, Got to get used to the ship. First, we have to level up. Uh, we ended our last episode reaching level 8, so we have one skill point. Um, I think I'm still going to invest heavily into the assassin tree, most likely. Um, well, actually, there's actually not many assassin skills I want. Maybe not, then. The shield break's going to come in very handy soon, as we're going to be fighting a lot of shield units. Uh, increasing flat damage is pretty good as well. We can't upgrade the kick anymore, so I think we'll just get the shield break. That way we have another move that we can use. Let's put it on number three. Alright, um, also have some inventory. New bow maybe? Ah, uh, yeah, we can change the looks of items. Item can also be upgraded. We can like upgrade this from level five to our current level if we wanted to. Uh, but I think... This looks pretty cool. It's also assassin damage. It's a Spartan looking gear. Since we found out that we are Spartan, that's kind of fitting. We'll keep this bow. It's assassin damage. And our current quest is learning the ropes, which is exactly what we're going to do. Now, there's a lot of bounty missions on the water because this is, like we said, um, the anniversary months of the game. The game came out exactly a year ago. Okay. So right now we're going to destroy pirate ships. Oh, it's really loud, this chanty. You can also go into a sailing mode, which doesn't require rolling, but slower. Right, I think we have to kill that ship up ahead. So, ship combat is basically two forms. There is spear and arrow, and they're on charge. Okay, so there's. I'm trying to get my sea legs in myself as well. Alright, this is Brace when they're attacking us, this is us shooting arrows at them. And there's a javelin attack for close range. Alright, I was never that great at sea combat. I used to just uh, swim over to enemy ships and attack them. I think we can ram them too. There we go. And then there's some weak spots. Alright. Once they're disabled, they can't move anymore. You can get yourself into a nice angle and ram them in half. You can also board them at this point too. Alright, let's ram them in half. Uh, ramming them in half gives you some health back. I lost a couple good men in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, 
Maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine. I promise you. Alright guys, so we're gonna find a new recruit uh, somewhere south of the land of the sacred land of Apollo, which is this piece of land. So somewhere up ahead and there's a shipwreck on its shores. Let's take a look. Well, there's a shipwreck on shores. I wonder if that's the island. Is this it? It's not giving me the prompt of using Icarus, so I'm guessing this is not the island. It kind of fit the description. Okay, maybe it's more ahead. I can't go to this area. Uh, the roars are tired, but they're still seeing. Let's use our sail for a second. Maybe it's the island up there. Alright, picked up some loot. Maybe it's that island. So, when you are fighting um, people on land, there are certain officers that are high level that you can try to capture and recruit into your ship. Um, this is what we're going to try to do here. Maybe it's this Get island? There's no the shipwreck. Oh! You need to be cautious. Okay, It'll stop. Be so what do we do? Uh, we can dock there. There's a light. Mm, our trusty bird. Where's the guy? That's my target. Alright. So you see... He has a character's name, uh, Femios, and he has uh, a skill. So he has some sort of archery skill, and it's one star. So it's not that great, but this is the best guy that uh, Barnabas knows, so we're gonna use him. We'll make landform here. Now it's back to me being an uh, assassin character. Alright, we can't kill him. We have to knock him out. It's very similar to assassinate, just a different move. First we kill everyone else though. Uh, I guess we could just go straight for him. But we also have to get that treasure. Hmm. So maybe we do have to kill everyone. It's quite a few people and a dog. Let's knock him out first. Alright, we can recruit lieutenants for our ship. Uh, we have to just knock them out with the E ability. Alright. Now we just recruit them. I'm hiring sailors, and I'll pay more than you've ever made. And that's it. He'll make a worthy addition to the crew. Now we can feel free to kill everyone on the island. Well, that's really low damage. I just want to catch their attention so they can come up. Doggy, do we have to fight you? I mean, I guess we don't have to, but that was quick. There's a treasure chest for us to pick, and we can head out of this island after that. Ooh, a lot of loot. Yeah, really, a lot of loot here. 
Alright, let's get back on our ship. I got him. Good! He'll be a valuable asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Something tells me we're going to need them. We should set a course for Megaris. A long voyage can Ooh, be Ooh, a lasting, sword. But we are not really the cruise. A rare sword, too. Level 8? Perfect. And a level 8 bow? Ooh, this is a fancy helmet. Uh, it doesn't look good, though. We'll keep the shroud. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain. Alright, now we sail straight for Mega Reese. Now, we can check different ships. Right, that would be a merchant ship. It carries what loot? Um, blue flags or blue sails are Athenian ships, and red sails are Spartan ships. We should focus on sailing though. It's a far, far distance to reach Mega Reese. And I have to say, naval combat's really not my strength, so hopefully we won't run into too much trouble. Ooh, whales! Alright, so up ahead. The Athenians have blocked the entrance it's a blockade. So, to get in, we have to kill these ships. Mm, let's work our way from the third one on the right. The sea is calm and the winds are warm. It's beautiful. It is, my friend. It sure is. This way the other two can't reinforce. Let's start off by ramming at it. We can always fire Increase once we're up close. Speed. More speed. We're at full speed. Wow, perfect. Alright. So we can we can board with it. And once you board with a disabled ship, your job is to run up on them and kill them. But first they're gonna try to shoot you before you parallel yourself next to them. You can always swim. Yeah, here's where the shield breaking comes in handy. Because Athenians really likes to use their shield. Alright. We killed them off. We take their treasure. Jump back to our ship. Continue the fight. Let's get back to the command post. Still got two more ships to deal with. Alright, let's try to ram against this big one. Alright, we took some damage. Oh, this one's gonna be a tough cookie. Ooh. Let's take out the small one first. There we go, let's. Cleave this one for health. There we go. Perfect. This one's gonna be tough. Oh, can we brace? Alright, took some damage. Alright, you wanna focus on these weak points. Does more damage. Alright. I think we can engage them in combat. I think you get better items if you board and you get health back if you cleave this is a big ship 
I want I want to fight. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that's a big shield. My shield breaking is not high enough level to break that shield. Ooh. I can break the little one though. What's that? Spear. Let's kill him first. This is where your lieutenant comes in handy. They help you fight on the ship. Now, your regular troops fight too, but lieutenant, if you have strong one, obviously, they're gonna be stronger fighting these guys. This guy's tough because of his shield. I'm gonna try to break it. Oh, oh! Wow! Underestimated my normal sailors. Alright, two treasure on this ship. Let's grab them both. What happened to that guy? He died standing up with an arrow to his head. <laughs> oh, it's, it's crashing. I'm coming back, guys. <laughs> Alright, we broke through the blockade, but as you can see on the lower right, we acquire some bounty because we killed Athenian ships. So Ath the Athens going to be paying mercenaries to come after us. Now conversely, if we attack Spartan ships, they will pay too, so it's a lose-lose either way, but it just depends on which side you want to uh, curry favor from at the moment. There's a loot there. Let's meet our dad. Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. You can't be his son. I heard his children died in Sparta many years ago. He adopted me into his household after his previous family failed him. I would never bring dishonor to him. Sometimes things happen in a way that you don't plan or expect. History has a way of remembering things strangely. You talk as if you were there. Maybe I was. Nonsense. You're too young to have witnessed such things. But enough of the past. Let's discuss the future. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. I've come to meet the wolf of Sparta. <laughs> you cannot simply meet with Nikolaos. 
He has command of the entire Spartan army. If you truly came all this way to meet him, you might be disappointed. Are you sure you're in charge here? You don't strike me as a typical Spartan. Perhaps it's best if I just talk with Nikolaus. A sense of humor is not a trait I see being useful for a Celso. If you're here to earn Drachmi, though, I could make use of a capable mercenary. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. Your father... who is he, exactly? Nikolaos, the Wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy, and took me under his wing. He trained me himself, and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior, and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the underworld. How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the wolf's command, we shall be victorious. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I'll help you rid Megaris of Athenians for a price. Typical of your type. No honor or sense of duty. But your skills are better serving us than our enemy. The Athenians already have a mercenary working for them. They don't need more help. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. What supplies should I destroy? Anything the Athenians need. Look for crates of supplies and weapons. The port of Nicaea in the valley of King Lelech would be a good place to start. It's where their supplies come into the region. This chest you want me to steal, why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Drachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nikolaos. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. All right, so we learned about conquering nations. Um, on the map... Well, I'll explain all this. Mm, yep, and the bounties. Okay, so on the map you see these basically... I guess you can't really say they're country, they're city-states. That's the best description, I guess, since this is Greece history. Uh, their city-state, let's say Megaris here, currently has a blue outline, means it's in the hand of the Athenians. It has a red outline, it means it's in the hand of the Spartans. And your job as a mercenary is that you can choose which sides you want to fight for and flip them. Um, each city-state has a leader. Whoever controls it, the leader is on that side. Uh, the leader starts out well protected, but as you weaken the city-state, here's the bar of how strong they are, it will become weaker and weaker and easier to kill. And the steps to weaken them, one is to burn military supplies, 
uh, killing their troops, and the third option is stealing their national treasure. Uh, each city-state would have a hidden national treasure, and if you do all three, uh, they will run out of their uh, protection points, and then they become more exposed, easier to kill. And then once you have killed the city leader and done all the parts and reduced this bar to zero, a battle site appears where you can join in the fight as a paid mercenary for one of the side. So in this case, uh, this is a part of a story mission. This is the first time you're conquering city-states, so you have to fight for the Spartans. But for other territories, you can choose at that point which side you want to fight on. If you choose the side that currently holds the area, the battle will be easier, but the reward will be less. If you choose the side that currently doesn't have the area, the battle will be much harder, and you'll get double the reward. Uh, as for bounties, since we did something bad, there will be a bounty officer who is the person that's paying the bounty. Like it says here, our crime is for murder and for sinking a ship. Uh, we can pay the bounty and get clear our bounty, or we can just kill the mercenary that comes after us. Uh, but as long as there's a bounty, there's going to be mercenary coming after us. At this one bar, one mercenary, two bar, two mercenary, all the way up to five mercenary coming after us. And uh, we want to get rid of these mercenaries, of course, but killing them be pretty good too, because they contain pretty good rewards. So I think that explains the idea here. And for us to move on the story and meet our dad, we have to work with Stentor, who is our father's adopted son. So I guess he's our stepbrother and uh, adopted stepbrother. And uh, we have to please them by helping the Spartans on this uh, city-state to conquer against the Athenians. It'd be a lot of missions. It'd be really fun. Um, had a lot of fun playing Mega Reese the first time we did this. Um, so we'll get back to that tomorrow. As for today, uh, we tested our sea legs. If I want to uh, get close to the wolf, got to Mega Reese. I have to help Stentor defeat the Athenians. I shouldn't waste any time. All right, so see you guys next time. Bye.